okay okay in today's lesson we're gonna be looking at um, theorem one exercises and theorem one goes as a line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord that is to say if we have a line if we draw a line here all the way from the center and then it is perpendicular to the chord that it intersects with then the chord will be bisected into two equal halves so this means that now a p will be equal to p b as we can see here so this is a line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord now let's look at exercises that are based on this theorem okay so we have question one it says in the second with center o oq is perpendicular to pr and oq is equal to four units and pr is 10 then determine x now with this thing we can see that uh this is soft tank soft tanks because we can see that we have a right angle triangle here and then also applying our theorem number one which says a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord we know that if we are given that pr here is 10 units then we know that pq is equal equals to qr that means we have to have pq five units and qr five units right so now we can see that this chord has been bisected now using our right angle triangle we can use the pythagoras theorem in order to get x now let's go about it we have op square is equals to pq square plus oq square and the reason for that will say pythagoras theorem right then what is our op the op is the x that we are looking for so we can just substitute x and then what is pq pq is 5 and then oq 4 then punching all that in your calculator you have x squared is equals to 41 now we know we are looking for x so we square both sides and then our x is equals to 6.40 units nice okay then we have a uh, question two it says in the second with center o and radius 10 units oq is perpendicular to pr and pr is equal to 8 units then determine x with this one we can see that we are given a radius here but then in order to calculate x we understand that from the previous question there was a right angle triangle but in this one there is no right angle triangle so that means we have to construct the right angle triangle by doing what by joining this line here to form op right so if we join here we form radius op and then also we can do it by joining this other side here and then we form a radius here this is radius or so we can see that now we have a right angle triangle but what else are we given we are given that pr is equal to eight units so all this is equal to eight units then we know from the theorem number one which says a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord we know once again that pq has to be equal to qr meaning that eight units has to be split equally amongst this length so we have four and four right then remember with the op we said the op op and or are equal because they are ready but then remember the ready we've been given that it is 10 units right so that means we have 10 units here we have 10 units there right now seeing this we can see that we can use this triangle poq to calculate x or we can even use oqr to calculate x so it's based on which one you want to use so um for the sake of the question i'll just use this one and then um to calculate x i'll just manipulate the pythagoras theorem formula because now i'm looking for this side and not the hypotenuse so i'll just say the hypotenuse squared minus the other side so pq and then once again i say the reason is pythagoras theorem right then what is my op the op is the radius so it's 10 square and then pq we have four then punching all this in the calculator so oq remember it's x so let's substitute x squared and then we have x squared is equals to um this will give us 84 but then remember 
square root both sides because we are looking for x and then x is equals to 9.17 units uh-huh uh-huh then question three says in the circuit with center o oq is perpendicular to pr then pr is equal to 12 units and sq is equal to two units then determine x so let's now fill in the details we we are given that sq weighs sq so sq is here we are given that sq is two units so let's fill in our two units there then the pr we are given that it is 12 units in total but then once again we have a line drawn from the center which is perpendicular to the chord remember we've been told that oq is perpendicular to pr so a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord it bisects the chord right so if we have that the whole length is 12 units that means we have six and six right so uh, excuse my writing glitch there so we have six we have two here and then our os our os we don't have os but we have op here it's x now if we can look at this we can we can deduce that op is equals to oq right and who can guess the reason it is because they are radii radi right so now if we are given that op is equals to x that means oq also has to be equals to x so the whole length here is equals to x but then remember in order to use this right angle triangle we want the length of os so if this whole length is x and then this length here qs is 2 then what is os we can now deduce that ox has to be x minus 2 because you'll be saying oq minus qs so that will give you x minus 2 now we can use the 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 this triangle osp to calculate the value of x using our pythagoras theorem so that means we have op op squared is equals to um os squared plus um plus ps let's call it ps square and then the reason is pythagoras theorem right then what is our os it is the one that we just a uh, found the expression of then x minus 2 square then what is our ps our ps is 6 using that theorem and then op uh, is x so we have x and then square like that so this is x squared is equals to so if we calculate all this we'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4 and then 6 square will give us plus 36 now at this point we can see that the x squared and the x squared will cancel out then we can take this negative 4 transpose it to this side to the left hand side so we have 4x but 4 plus 36 is equals to 40 so at this point we can divide both sides by 4 so we divide both sides by 4 and then x is equals to 10 units right 10 units awesome so this is turn 10 units okay, so question four it says in the second with center o ot is perpendicular to sq and ot is perpendicular to pr op is equals to 10 units and st is 5 units and pu is equals to 8 units now it says determine tu right so if you can check here i've marked two triangles one with a yellow highlighter and the other with a red highlight so i'll be using these two right angle triangles to calculate the length of tu so why this approach is because i saw that tu is only a portion of the length of this right angle triangle so it doesn't cover the whole length here but then it's only a portion of it so now i can see that if i can calculate ot from this red triangle here and then use this yellow triangle to calculate ou then i can deduce the fact that tu will be equals to ot minus ou so this is what i'm gunning for when i'm doing this right so now let's use the yellow triangle let's use the yellow triangle to to calculate ou right so we have ou squared is equals to op square 
uh, minus up square right then what is my op the op i've been given is 10 and then the up is 8 then if we punch all this in a calculator it will give us 36 then we have ou square is equal to 36 then at this point we can square root both sides then ou will be equals to 6 units okay a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord will bisect the chord that means as we can see this line here is drawn from the center it is it is perpendicular to this first chord pr that means if we have pu is eight units also ur is eight units and then once again if we have st is five units then also tq is five units so it is the theorem that says a line drawn from the center uh, perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord so we have something like that so now we have this five here and then we have this 10 remember from here we said that a uh, op op will be equals to oq and then will also be equals to ov and this will all be equals to 10 because they are ready right so that means our oq is equals to 10 units right so we have our 10 units like that here right so the whole length of oq so we'll be taking this 10 units and taking this 5 units in order to calculate OT. So we have OT square is equals to OQ square minus TQ square. Then we'll say Pythagoras. So if in here we were supposed to say Pythagoras. Then what is our OT? That's the length that we are looking for. But our OQ square, 10 square, then our TQ, 5. So we have 5 square. If we punch all this in a calculator, we have um, 75. Then we square both sides. Our OT will be equals to 8.66 units. But then once again, we are looking for the length TU. So we go back here, TU is equal to OT minus OU. So let's write it here, TU is equal to OT minus OU. So what is our OT? It's 8.66 and our OU is 6. Then 8.66 minus 6, that's 2.66 units. And we have the length of TU. Okay, 5, it says in the second with center O, OT is perpendicular to QP and OS is perpendicular to PR. OT is 5 units, PQ is 24 units and PR is 25 units. Determine OS which is X, right? Then once again here, let's look at our theorem number 1. A line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord will bisect the chord. That means PS will be equal to SR. So this 25 for PR has to be shared equally amongst these two lengths so that means we have 12.5 and 12.5 so if we say 25 divided by 2 once again here we see the same uh, theorem the same case is happening here a line drawn from the center perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord so this 24 has to be split equally amongst the the, the lengths pt and qt right so that means we have 12 units here and 12 units there now at this point we are looking for x but then in order to calculate x we'll have to con construct our own a uh, right angle triangle right now we can say that we can easily do that by constructing ra radius or so if we can construct radius or so it's not a it's not a sexy radius but then you get the idea so now if we construct or we do understand that or has to be equals to OQ because both these are ready. Now, but then if we can look at this, we only have this 12.5 in X. That means we also have the case of not having OR. But let's look at this right angle triangle here. With this one, we are complete because we have this 5 
and there's 12 here that means we can calculate oq by virtue of calculating oq that means we'll also have the land of or because oq is equal to or and uh, they are both ready so now let's calculate oq so to calculate oq we'll say oq squared is equal to ot squared plus a uh, qt square then reason is pythagoras then what is our ot that's five and then what is our qt uh, it's 12 right then if we punch all that in a in a calculator we have 169 then we can square both sides then our oq is equals to 13 units now to calculate the length of um, x here let's now manipulate this one we have os square is equals to or square minus sr square reason is pythagoras then what is our or our or is 13 because remember it is also ready then sr is 12.5 then square then if you punch all that in your calculator you have 12.75 but then this is equals to x square because os is x then we have if we square both sides then x is equals to 3.57 units awesome <laughs>